Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mike's Garage. Another great one for you today. So I've got my 2019 EcoBoost Mustang, also known as Project EcoBoom, uh, sitting on the lift. I'm going to put it up in the air so you can see the exhaust work that I did. I'll explain where I put those resonators in to get rid of the drone and just kind of my overall thoughts on the MBRP straight exhaust. All right, let's take a look. All right, so here's how I have it mounted. So here's where my exhaust connects up, where the MBRP starts. So here's my factory catalytic converter there. Goes back to this flexible pipe. This is the corner. And then here's my uh, MBRP. Um, you can see it opens up to three inch, goes all the way back. So you can see I did old school clamps with this. So here's my actual uh, resonators right here. So I had to cut off um, part of the existing pipe. And these measure nine inches long. I used the old school clamps on it. Um, you could use whatever that you wanted to use. And then you could see that I have um, copper RTV adhesive just to make sure I have no leaks, in which there are none. So there's my uh, two resonators. Like I said, goes all the way back. Here's the factory hangers. And then it connects on there. And then the mufflers going out. And then the tips. Um, to get rid of drone on your vehicle, one thing I would recommend, make sure that your tips protrude. So you never want to have your tips kind of end underneath. Otherwise, you're going to have more interior noise than you might want. Uh, the other thing that's really important when you're setting up this MBRP exhaust is just kind of make sure that you have everything tucked up nice. But make sure that you're not too close to the sway bar. So here's the rear sway bar. It's, um, I believe it's three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna be switching this out for the one there, which I believe is an inch diameter. So wanted to make sure that I had enough room. So as you can see, I can fit three fingers between the pipe and the sway bar. And same on this side. So you wanna make sure that you have plenty of room on your exhaust because as your exhaust you could see it, well, actually I'm moving the whole car, but if the exhaust was to move, you don't want it to hit anything. You want to make sure that, you know, you have it uh, sitting good. The other thing that I did as well is on these tips, where it goes to connect, there's a screw up on top. I made sure that I also used um, some of that uh, orange, um, you know, copper exhaust um, uh, gasket maker right up on top where it goes to connect. There's like a big slit that's there and you might be able to see it right here where the screw's at. You don't want any exhaust kind of going back up there. It's just going to add additional noise in the cabin that you might not want. Um, overall, I'm quite happy with the exhaust. It does sound quite good. The original exhaust had a nasty drone to it. Started at around Oh, I'd say probably about 1400 RPMs and went all the way up to about 16, 1700. You know, it was just, just louder than I'd like. Uh, so with having, you know, the mufflers, which of course are straight through, uh, and then having these resonators that are also straight through, this really didn't impact uh, the flow through it. Um, and what I like about these uh, U-Power resonators is the it's it's actually two layers so you have a metal layer of insulation and then you have uh, your fiberglass behind it uh, so it keeps the fiberglass from getting burnt and uh, you know essentially wearing out uh, prematurely and uh, the metal just kind of keeps everything held together so overall looks good the original clamps that came with the kit um, I had just lost, so I picked up these three inch ones, tried to make it look as nice as I could. Once again, checked everything for leaks. I have zero leaks. You know, you start up the engine, you put your, your hands around it, and you try to feel any air, and 
and obviously I didn't feel any, uh, which is perfect. So this is just kind of what it looks like overall. So the next maintenance that I need to do to the car, um, I want to change out the transmission fluid. So what's neat about this, it's pretty easy to do a drain and fill on. It's really unobstructed, so you can get to all the uh, um, all the bolts pretty easy. Bolts in, and it looks like nuts as well. Um, but yeah, I'll do a fluid change on this. Uh, it's about time. It's got 40,000 miles on it, and it's starting to shift a little bit off. Not bad, but you could just tell that the fluid needs to be changed. So I'll do that next. And then the suspension goes on, something I've been waiting a very, very long time for. Uh, but what I will say about this exhaust, it does seem to add power, maybe not peak power, but more, um, more mid-range. And what I mean by that is there's less turbo lag. So when you give it some gas, it just instantly spools up the turbo because there's really no back pressure behind it, so it's allowed to really spin up nice and fast, which gets you into boost so much quicker, much more responsive. Uh, definitely one of the first mods to do on this car would be a cat back exhaust. Um, I'm going to leave the cat on this because there's various reasons, but one of them is I want the car to be rather quiet to where you can hear it, as you're driving and, and people can tell you have a little bit of an exhaust, but nothing that's annoying, nothing that's going to attract attention. And at the end of the day, this car is, you know, it, it it's going to probably see some road courses maybe, and it's my long distance vehicle. So if I'm going to be in this vehicle for an extended amount of time doing a cross country trip, I don't want to have like a loud drone or something that's just going to drive me nuts. So that's it. Here's the view of it. And um, hopefully you like what I've done with it. Like I said, tips stick out a little bit. That's on purpose, just because I don't want any it, it, minimum amount of interior noise as possible. And then the tips are lined up and everything looks good. Maybe at some point I'll weld this, but um, I need to get better at welding. But I think it, it turned out really nice. So. That's it. Thanks again for watching Mike's Garage.